Hey everybody, I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about something that we all kind of deal with as we're going through looking at articles and figuring out what to include and what not to include. And that's dealing with articles where it's harder to find the citation. So I just Googled quickly uh, how to write trustworthiness for the study. And I came across this um, understanding using trustworthiness and qualitative research which would be exactly the kind of thing I was looking for. So it pulls up this PDF. It looks like if I scroll down, it's published in a journal and it's fall 2020 and it talks about transferability, dependability, credibility. This might actually be a great reference for me to include when I'm writing chapter three. Now, when you're writing your dissertation, the last thing that you wanna do is figure out how to write the, the citation and include the reference in your study. You want to be able to just read the article, make your notes and move on. In this case, I want to just, I really just want to get the citation as quickly as possible, cut it and paste it or put it into RefWorks or whatever. Um, this is for people that don't use Mendeley or RefWorks or things like that. I'm a paper person. This will not work for everybody. This is just my approach. I'm just going to show you something. All right. So I'm going to copy this title. And I'm going to go to crossref.org. Okay. When you come here, you'll have the option to search the site or search the metadata. I want to search the metadata and I'm going to plug in the title just to see if it, if it brings up anything. Now it won't always do that. It might bring up some other things. So I'm not seeing it here. What's cool is if you do see it here, you can just grab the actions and you can pick up the citation. Okay, part of why this is important is because crossref.org includes the DOI in the way that you need it. It doesn't have the, the LOPES um, link in it, which you'll have to update for your references anyway. Okay, so this is everything that I would need if this were the right article, but it's not. So what are my options? I'm going to go to, to Google Scholar and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put in the title and I'm going to see if it, oh, thank God, it comes up. Okay. In Google Scholar, it's still the PDF. So if I click this, it's going to take me to the same thing, right? But here I can see it's on JSTOR and then I've got the citation option here. Okay, so APA is right here. I can copy this. I'm good to go. Okay, so that's the lazy way around when you have <laughs> when you have an article that you need just a quick citation for. The other thing you'll notice is right here on uh, Google Scholar, you can grab the citation as well here. So I didn't need to make those extra steps. Remember when you cut and paste these things, you wanna make sure um, this one does not have the DOI. So you're gonna have to get that DOI anyway. So just make sure when you're, when you're pulling over references or whatever here, you can add it to RefWorks, EndNote, et cetera. Just make sure that you get the DOI as well. So that's just my way of grabbing things when I'm looking at a PDF and I want the reference and the citation to just go to Crossref or Google Scholar to see if I can pull that up. And that's it. Hopefully that's helpful. Um, if not, I hope that uh, other videos will be helpful to you. And if you have questions, feel free to message me and I will um, see what I can come up with to help you. Thanks so much. Have a great day.